Hello and welcome to PhD at Living. A couple weeks ago a co-worker of mine brought in some sugar-free candies and I took a look at them and I started thinking and when I start thinking the mind really starts going and I came up with a whole bunch of questions like sugar-free if it's not actual sugar what's in it? Is it fake sugar? What is fake sugar? What's real sugar? Is it that stuff in gummy bears that gives you apocalyptically bad diarrhea? What about diet soda? Illuminati. Do fake sugars caramelize? How do real sugars caramelize? As you can see, I came up with about a thousand questions and I can't possibly answer all of them in one video, so we're gonna have a whole bunch of videos. I'm gonna start out with what are actual real sugars. So we'll talk about the common sugars that you find in daily life that are actual honest to God carbohydrates. And then we'll move on to fake sugars. Laser. Part one is going to be sugar alcohols, things that are pretty close chemically to actual sugars, but are different enough that they deserve their own category. In this one, you'll find out why xylitol gives you really bad diarrhea, and how you can make explosives out of fake sugars. The second part gets into the other fake sugars, things like aspartame, saccharin, and sucralose, that generally are very, very different from both the carbohydrate-based real sugars laser and the sugar alcohol fake sugars laser we'll finish it out with the question that really brought this whole thing on can fake sugars caramelize and wait a minute what actually is caramelization anyway for real sugars big flashing disclaimer i am not a medical doctor I went to college for a long time and they kicked me out with a PhD in chemistry, so I know some things, but I am not a biochemist either. Don't take anything I say as stock for basing your dietary or health decisions off of. It's just my own opinion from what I have read and seen on the ever-reliable internet. So with that done, let's move on to part one.